Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to soft reset your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. Now if your screen is freezing or not working properly, this quick trick is going to help to reset the phone and usually will fix any minor glitches you're having. So what you're going to do is hold down on the power button and the volume down button until the screen goes totally black, just like this. Power, volume down, one, two, three, hold, hold them together. You should see this pop up for this menu, continue to hold the buttons, and usually less than 10 seconds, it will shut off just like that. Once it shuts off, let go of the buttons, and then give it a couple of seconds for it to restart. You should see your Samsung logo pop up in a few seconds, just like that, and that means our restart has happened. So again, usually if there's a software glitch, um, this will fix it. Now, if your screen is cracked or damaged, then this is not gonna fix that problem. So just know this is more for software internal issues, not for exterior and physical screen issues, all right? If you have an issue with your actual screen, if it's scratched or cracked, um, you can either go to samsung.com and connect to their web support to find a certified repair shop to fix it. You can also check to see if your phone is still covered under the warranty or um, you can go to your local uh, cell phone repair shop and have them take a look at it and try to diagnose it for you. But as you can see, our phone is back on and our touchscreen is working properly again. I want to give a quick tease. If you notice, my phone is not uh, bouncing on the table. Uh, as you know, the camera bump is pretty big on this phone, but I have this really sweet um, MagSafe uh, magnetic grip on here from a company called Binks and I'll link it on screen right here. This thing is pretty cool because it's a pop socket and it's also a stand for your phone and it's magnetic so it can work on a lot of the phone mounts for the car as well and it matches the camera bump so when you put it on a table your phone will not bump back and forth. So anyway, I'll link it on screen in case you guys wanna check that out. If you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.